Hello friends, hope you're all doing good. I've just woke up to the news that we will be getting a new patch update for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We'll be going from version 1.0.1 to version 1.1.0 and that'll be happening today as of recording this video at some point on the 1st of December. We're going to go over everything in today's video, let you know what this implies for everything like the duplication glitches and other issues that we're seeing in the games. So over on the Nintendo site, they've got the actual patch notes for this update. As you can see, it will be going live on the 1st of December. I don't know when or what time that will be going live today, but as soon as it is and we figure out any fixes to certain things in the game, we'll do a video on it and keep you all updated. So. The patch notes are the season one of ranked battles will kick off allowing you to enjoy ranked battles through battle stadium check the in-game notice for more details about ranked battle season one so basically there's a glitch at the minute with the online battle system where it's seeding each of the games with the same rng uh, meaning that you can kind of predict when certain moves like one hit kill moves are going to hit and things like that so it's a pretty big issue with ranked battles and especially with season one going live tomorrow on the 2nd of December that's something that 100% needs fixed especially because you're going to have the the ladder introduced for the first time in these new games an issue has been fixed that caused the music not to play correctly during the battles with the elite four and the top champion in victory road path so I didn't experience this. I've heard a bunch of people had issues with this one in particular. So that looks like that will be fixed going forward in this next version. Other select bug fixes have been made. I would assume that this is referring specifically to the recent item duplication glitches that we've had available and they've kind of snowballed in popularity within the community because of the way that you can duplicate Coridon, on your ride Pokemon, and then use this method to duplicate items. We had a similar thing with Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pearl when the duplication glitches happened there. They tried to fix them and patch them pretty quickly after the glitches got made public and everyone was kind of doing them in games. And then they finish it off with, we are aware that players may encounter issues that affect the game's performance. Our goal is to always give players a positive experience with our games and we apologize for inconvenience. We take the feedback from players seriously and working on improvements to the games. So basically they're acknowledging that the games are pretty janky and they don't work as well as they probably were intended to. It doesn't appear here like we'll get frame rate fixes or anything like that. I think there are immediate fixes that need to be done, like the battle season, which is, like I say, kicking off tomorrow. That's a pretty big issue, especially for competitive play. That needs fixing. They don't like anything like duplication glitches or things like that. Even though it's their own fault for the coding of the game, they've allowed this to happen. They want that fixed. They don't want players to be able to do it. Um, so I would imagine they're the things that we'll probably see get fixed. Hopefully there are other issues that get fixed in the game. The camera panning, the frame rate, lots of, there's so many things. I'm not gonna list them all in this video, but there are a bunch of things that I would have said are just as important to improving the play of these games. But we'll probably only get a few of them tomorrow and then we might get a, a patch a later date to fix the rest of the issues that we're all experiencing with these games. Now you're not required to update your games. Of course, when this patch is released, you don't have to do it, but you are gonna be restricted from going online taking part in things like the ranked ladder tournament and also taking part probably in the first seven star terror raid that we're going to have which is gone live later today so i'd imagine this patch will come up before that event goes live and i'm assuming that you're not going to be able to partake in that unless you've got this update i could be wrong we'll confirm that when the patch comes out and the event is live so but if you don't want your game to automatically update when the patch is dropped you need to come into your system settings in your switch and then come down to system and then because this is a new console i'm on actually it will probably be on uh, you want to look for automatic updates auto updates there we go automatic software updates and you want to just turn that off just like i've done there and that will stop the game from updating automatically meaning you can stay on the current version that you're on and kind of keep doing what you're doing in your game for anyone that is worried about getting banned for duplications using the duplication glitch it's not going to happen you're not going to get banned for using something in game that was at fault because of game freaks coding etc 
People know this. People are just creating a lot of drama about it for no reason. In my opinion, whatever anyone wants to do in their own game, it's their own game. They can do what they want. Whatever your stance on it is, allow people to play the game how they want it to. The duplication glitch isn't like hacking Pokemon in and then sending them out to other people and breaking other people's games. It's a completely different thing. But if you're worried about getting banned from the duplication glitch, if you've used it, don't worry about it. I would though suggest if you are using the duplication glitch and you have been using it to get rid of the duplicated ride Pokemon before you do the update because we don't know what implications that might have in your game for going forward and we don't want any issues with your copy of the game getting corrupt or anything like that from an update that potentially isn't fixing the issues properly. So. That is all of the patch notes for version 1.1.0. We'll be dropping at some point today. We'll do an update with it after it's dropped and we've tested a bunch of things to see what's working, what improvements we've got and things going forward. But good to see that Game Freak are being proactive about this for a change. They did the same with BDSP, although there were different developers who had ILC doing BDSP, but you know, the same things were happening. They were getting constant updates for the game to improve things. And hopefully that carries on until we have a fully finished Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But have a great rest of your day. Let me know your thoughts on the patch notes. If you've got any questions, drop them down below and I'll catch you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care. Bye-bye.